What is going on out there, YouTube? Y'all know the drill here. It's me again. Uh, coming back at you, going to talk about uh, controlling water pressure at your house. And uh, talk about a, a commonly purchased item that's installed in a, a new house or a house that's up on a hill or that has too much pressure. Uh, I'm going to talk get with you today about pressure regulators, what they are, how they work, and is it needed on a typical well pump system. Uh, so here we go. This is a standard regulator here that's uh, installed on most houses. And, you know, I'm going to get into this more. Be sure to give us a thumbs up and smash, smash the thumbs up uh, symbol down there. It takes all about two seconds for us to do. Uh, check that out. Um, sorry, I got sidetracked. But anyways, this is a typical regulator here. So what this does is you got your incoming pressure here, outcoming pressure here. You got this nut that you can adjust. Okay, this is typically installed on um, houses that have city water where, you know, you may have, the city may be delivering 80 or 90 PSI to your house or 100 and obviously you may not want the 60 or 50. That's what these guys are for. Very common, very handy, very uh, standard components. You can get them almost anywhere and they, and they work good. Um, you know, obviously if you're up in the mountains or up on a hill, you know, it's going to be the other way. You're, you're not going to have enough uh, pressure to get you there. You're going to be looking at putting a booster pump in or something like that. Which leads me to my next point and is, are these guys needed on a well system? Absolutely not. Nope. Um, we see this time and time again where people have installed them. Um, and, you know, that's, that's not needed. A, a typical well pump is controlled by a pressure switch uh, that we've already done videos on. You know, pressure switch at the max is, uh, you know, typically we like to leave set on 60 PSI unless somebody's asking us to raise the pressure for them. But 60 PSI is, you know, well within the pressure rating of any kind of piping system or water heater, uh, relief valve, whatever you have installed. Or we're going to do another video with you uh, here coming up in the future about relief valves and are they needed. But you know, you don't need a regulator in line with your well pump if you've got a pressure switch that's going to cut off at 60 PSI. Um, you know, a regulator is just something that's, again, we're not talking about a whole lot of money, um, but, it's, but it's something that's not needed. And I uh, see this happen time and time again where we'll, we'll get there, we'll get to the job site ready to do the well. Uh, the plumber's already, you know, got the house plumbed, ready to go, and they've got a they've got a regulator in line, which is fine. I mean, that's what they typically do. I guess it's what they're used to. To, but you as the customer, just you know, if you're doing your own plumbing or whatever, you know, if you got a well, you do, that's that's one item that you don't need to purchase. Don't need to worry about purchasing. Uh, it's controlled by your pressure is controlled by a pressure switch, and uh, it's it's. It's not going to be too high. Those can only go up uh, to a, to a certain pressure. So, sorry, I didn't mean to mess with you here. I like these guys; they work good, but um, not needed at all. So don't don't worry about fooling with a regulator uh, um, if you got a well. That's the message of this video. So thanks for watching. Uh, be sure to subscribe to us down there in the bottom right hand corner. Uh, check us out at WendellyWellServices.com. Uh, we'll keep on coming back at you with more videos. Thanks.